I need the movies for that ritual that they give. I mean, I, when I go to the movies, I go for the same reasons I did when I was a child, really. I go, I go for an, the assurance of the ritual, and I, I want the Western to be um, uh, the same ritual, essentially, as it was when I was a child. like when something uh, comes at me in a way that I have to deal with it That's, and uh, and if it's uh, serious enough a matter or crucial enough it, then I have to then I have to deal with it the, in, the, in the only way I can which is through through an art medium through film and uh, and so it's it I mean it, via the happenings in my living it selects me so it's, I, don't, I don't select the subject See, like, for example, I was working along, I needed to see the children better for, for the simplest possible parental human reasons and, and also for my own joy, but, but I needed to see them better, so I was working with childhood, and I was working along the line of my memories of my childhood and, and using them as source of the image. And suddenly, that became impossible because the, the, um, the, uh, the war, thoughts on the war, in Vietnam, we're crowding out uh, any uh, meditation or peaceful, you know, going along the line of, of those, of what I was doing. So I had to stop that. And the minute that happened, uh, I, it seemed to me I had, it's as if I'd been uh, drafted in the only way I could be. I mean, I had to deal with the war. And I knew I couldn't deal uh, visually or in an art medium with, with the Vietnam War because, A, I, I have never been there. I know nothing about it. I, I, they don't permit me. I don't have a free press anymore, so I'm not even permitted to know the simple news of what's going on over there. So I have no way to deal with it. I mean, and uh, um, but I, do ha I did have a way to deal with war, which is that all through my childhood, I, I went to the newsreels and saw the pictures of the Second World War. And uh, those images are a very strong part of my childhood. So I began uh, collecting those images and working along a line of, um, of those. But I, that, that picked me. I mean, I literally had to do work with the war or, or quit, quit quit working, which I also find pretty impossible. I'm through when I no longer, when I can see it. Right. When, when whatever it is that's troubling me or exciting me to a pitch that I have to deal with it integrally is uh, when I've got it into a shape yeah. out there where, where I can see it and am in, um, informed of whatever I need to, it isn't, well it isn't informed, but where it's out there clearly and I can see it, mm -hmm. then I can doesn't necessarily make it easier to deal with. I may I may end up feeling worse about war after I finish sure. this film than I did before. I may be more involved, but at least I have some way to see it. And and about the best way I have it at hand is the way is to work along the line. Well, you notice the film before I was the film that was interrupted was about working along the line of childhood. When I had to come into war, I went right along the line of childhood. So it's my childhood war I'm really dealing with, not the Second World War in any more presumptuous sense than that. And like the most crucial image, the one that starts it off, are the, the bodies so, uh, from Auschwitz and so on. The, the, the dead Jews that weigh so heavily, I think, on any sensitive man's conscience. So I had to deal with those and try to come to see them as natural phenomenon. Not like that, not cold like that, because certainly uh, I, don't, I didn't, I mean, I had to see their existence as images as some kind of a, a real thing, is really what I mean, uh, natural in that sense. And, um, and then that, that uh, started in me a tremendous um, re resentment and feeling of horror, which had to be 
counterbalanced immediately by all, like I started cutting out all the, uh, uh, collecting all the explosions in the Second World War, from the atomic bomb to the smallest grenade that I could find, and, and, uh, and like blowing them all off at once so that I could isolate what it is that's so attractive to, to myself or any human being in, in something blowing up. And what release of tension it is about, you know, like what answer to what uh, guilt or whatever. Public life of film actually holds, as, w as well as the, well, it holds something of the secret of both mediums in a way, because I think in stills the icon could become, in the hands of an artist, meditation piece in the sense of the Sung paintings, say the relationship between Ansel Adams and the Sung uh, painters. Uh, and, and in film, the ritual can become the, the the full sense of ritual, instead of being a popular ritual uh, or one that, that sort of throws back the nightmares or or um, wish fulfillment dreams of a nation, it can it can actually uh, investigate the private ritual um, or the, the the world of symbolism in the head. Yeah, but when I'm piano practicing, so to speak, um, with the camera, I'm very aware there's no film in it, whereas when a man's drawing, he is making something. You know, all I'm doing then is really getting the body in shape to hold the camera so that I won't have to think about that body sense when I'm shooting. I think one of the biggest problems though is that film is, uh, is rooted in uh, stage drama.
take how the early films were examples of that, I mean, were directly attempts to photograph uh, what they were called were photo plays. So they were attempts to, to uh, simply take one medium and make it packageable to send around. And that root started all of film, even the greats of those days, in, in, in drama. And drama, curiously, in the West has come to make an art only, really, that studies violence and uh, finally and, uh, and um, you know, like, what, either to laugh at it or to uh, cry along with it or whatever. Drama's become the form whereby we, we uh, anticipate unhappiness and experience it fully and remember it always. And there was never in Western drama a training ground for anticipating happiness or experiencing it fully and remembering it. So most filmmakers, having their roots in, in the photo player, the Hollywood film, tend to move along a line of violence. Whereas uh, it's not that the medium has to do that. I mean, quite the, the opposite. A cotton, moving along in a continuity arc could, could poise on anything, the full gamut of living. But, but simply that it will take a long time for most people to get over the Hollywood movie or, or any kind of use of movie, which, is, which began by being photo plays or, or photographed stage plays. Curiously, there is, I'm trying to think of relationships between stills and film, and one I think of is that the, the still tends now toward the meditation piece, at best, I think, anyway. I, I mean, by this now, not artists working with stills, but the stills in general. I mean, an artist could, can do any, can practically do anything according to his own needs, but but just stills in general, I mean, those are the, the most uh, interesting, say, commercially or news or whatever, tend toward the, like, icon, I, you say icons, really, or, or, or things to, to um, no, not meditate on, but icons, iconic. Movies have tended toward ritual. The popular movies, aside from works of art, uh, have tended toward uh, ritual, and, uh, and these seem to be the two uh, public lives of these mediums, per se, at, at best. In a way, I, I said at one point, like, I got so tired of being called an imaginative filmmaker, you know, or imagination or fantasy, people kept throwing at me, and I f finally uh, said, no, I'm the, like, the most specific documentary filmmaker that can be because I document the way in which I see which includes my imagination, or those pictures that I throw up against, um, th those pictures that I throw back while I'm get in gathering light and seeing. I, mean, I, I, throw I, I deal with my memories, or with my uh, the closed eyes, with the, the optic nerve endings, and with the inpouring of the light all at once, which is like trying to be the most, get the most of what the actual act of seeing is, to myself. Now, I don't know how you can be any more specifically a document, a documenter than that. Whereas documentary filmmaking, as it's normally used, means in stills or film, 
means accepting Renaissance perspective implicitly as the way of seeing, etc. 